Hi everybody, in uh, this video I want to show you a pretty advanced feature of uh, Leads Hook, uh, but we have had users who've been using it for some time, uh, but want to take some uh, a short video today to explain uh, how to go about using it in case you didn't know that you had uh, this capability inside Leads Hook. All right, so the question was, I want to integrate leads to a dialing system that requires a two-step formula. That could be any third-party platform. It doesn't have to be a dialing system. It could be a third-party data enrichment system. It could be a third-party pricing system. Any other third-party system that will supply you with uh, some information back. So what they want to do here is they want to send back a, a username and password uh, and then get back a token. And the token is then used uh, in the um, submission of the, next, uh, of the actual lead itself. So how do you do that? Right, uh, let's go into Leads Hook. And uh, let's say you wanted to do that right up the front um, before, well, after the person landed. Go over here, API node, which is right at the bottom, the purple one. Copy and paste. Um, you'll click this because that'll give you the uh, weight for the response. Uh, and um, that's going to be the payload. So that's going to be the request to your third-party dialing system. That's going to be the data that you send back, which is going to be the login and password. The We can put a JSON, uh, oops, JSON or XML here. I'll, uh, I'll be adding a few more links uh, below this on how to set this up properly. Uh, so that's going to go to the third-party platform. It's going to bring back, so you're going to wait for the response. Uh, you can display an animated uh, spinner if you want, uh, not necessary. If you have any uh, passwords, or if you're logging in passwords, it, you may have to send it as a, as a header. That all depends on the documentation required by the third-party platform, so do that. And basically map the data that comes back using our field mapper. Um, so go here. Uh, and um, so whatever comes back, copy and paste that, uh, the response over here, the um, sample response, and automatically leads will, will pick up the field values and they can go ahead and map those in the field mapper here. So um, so let me just give a shared example here. Let's see if that was the, and you wanted to map this one here. All you have to do is just copy, oops, copy that. So larger cities to dot name. Um, yep, and what field you want to put it into. So we'll start typing in. You need to type every three characters. So let's say if this was going into uh, the age field right there. And that's going to be, there you go, that's mapped. So that's when the API response comes back, that pro value or that um, variable will be saved into the custom field inside Leads Hook which is this, uh, it's like a reverse of uh, the field mapping. And that is basically how you end up building it, so that's how you save data. So in this case, if you're getting back a token, so go back to the original question, there's a token that's coming back, so it'd be basically saving of the token against the lead in a field that you would, might create called token or something of that sort, token dialing system. I'll give it a name or title that is um, easy for you to find. And uh, that's basically it. And so you save and exit. Uh, let's give it a title actually. Um, call this that. Uh, give it. There you go. I think that's good enough. Yep. So put that anyway inside your decision tree. Uh, obviously, before you send the, the the lead out, and when you send the lead out, obviously uh, there are a few ways of sending the lead out. It can be the ESP, the email notification, API, um, uh, or webhook uh, out using this node. Uh, or integration with Zapier or any other or any other systems that platforms we integrate with, uh, send it back out with the token custom field with your lead record, and that is how you end up doing it. All right, I hope that sort of a shows an advanced feature of how to use an API within uh, the decision tree. Uh, some users are successfully using it to bring back prices of real estate, uh, mortgage, uh, insurance prices, all sorts of all sorts of things that are available in third-party um, APIs. Thank you, and uh, bye for now.